down to today's market cues. Uh, it is going to be an interesting morning. Yesterday, 24,000 was respected, fortunately, but Agam is standing by with more on that. Agam, uh, yesterday the sell-off really came out of nowhere, but 24,000 held out. It seems like if that range of 24,000 to 25,000 is still sacrosanct, yeah, yeah. and a break on either side could change direction, but yes. until then, things look okay. Uh, things look okay for the Nifty, Just yes, Samina. Okay. Just about okay. And uh, well, of course, 24,000 has a, a little bit of uh, support, but we have broken below 50,000 on the bank Nifty. So let's take us, uh, you know, let me take you through all the cues that are coming as far as uh, what we can watch out for today. Now, as, as far as your few August futures from the Nifty are concerned, we actually saw some shorts building in with a 2.5% increase in open interest, even as the index came off. Now, as far as the bank Nifty is concerned, it's gone below the mark of 50,000 and close below there. Can there be a recovery today? I, well, not entirely certain, but there was a 17% increase in open interest towards shorts, even as the index came off by around 1.5%. Now, as we move into today's uh, you know, options, uh, well, uh, we'll trade, or perhaps on expected lines, there's a lot more writing in terms of calls closer to add the money as compared to puts. And as you can see, see on your screen there, a lot more writing around 24,400, 24,500 uh, calls. And on the lower end, it seems like markets are preparing a little bit of weakness in the near term, which is why we, we don't have as much accumulation in puts as you can see here. It's like moving down to the bank nifty, the picture is not very different. Uh, we have certainly seen a lot, a lot more writing around 50,000, 50,200, 300 calls. On the lower end, we have a little bit of accumulation around 49,500 puts. And uh, remember that a 1% move for the bank nifty is uh, not improbable. And especially given the kind of volatility that we have been used to, you never know how things can, you know, breach out for as far as the 49,500, well, uh, you know, put strike is concerned as well. Now let's talk about stocks, and it was a weak day of trade. We saw a lot of shots in RT Industries, Chumble Fertilizers, SBI was under pressure, GNFC also down about with shorts coming in. Uh, and even among stocks, which saw unwinding, more long unwinding than short covering, MGL, Sun TV, HPCL, City Union Bank, all of them looking at a lot of weakness. So all in all, it wasn't a good day of trade. And because it's happened midweek and on a truncated week where tomorrow is uh, uh, you know, a trading holiday, it's going to be a wait and watch whether or not there is more selling today as well. Take care. So we'll talk. Right. Well, but uh, the question is, uh, what do we do with uh, these uh, these cues and, uh, well, where do we go? So let's get in an expert. We have Avni Pat of GM Financial who's joining us on the show. Avni, good morning. Thank you so much for joining in. Uh, you know, let's start, let's start by taking a look at Infosys. I believe that's the first one on your radar. What is your analysis on this one and how are you looking to trade Infosys? Uh, so, Infosys, um, after almost a 10% decent correction from the highs of around 1900 to almost uh, the lows of 1700, uh, the stock has started uh, showing signs of you know, bullish uh, piercing engulfing pattern on daily and weekly charts. Although yesterday, um, I mean, uh, we couldn't see the follow-up buying, but the good part is that it held on and uh, there was no selling pressure seen in the stock. So it's holding on and it's ready to move uh, on the upside and uh, test almost around uh, uh, 1900 levels in a very short time. So uh, I think uh, if at all there is even a smallest of recovery in the market or a slight of uh, short covering in the markets, IT sector is going to uh, participate in that. Uh, that's the sector that, uh, that will uh, help uh, Nifty also you know, come out of the woods uh, slowly and gradually or at least stabilize. So uh, from this particular sector, Infosys is the best stock that is showing a very good strength. And uh, I believe that in a very short time, uh, it should move close towards around 1900 levels. That's why we are going for a vanilla call option in this uh, stock. Uh, that would be an ATM call option for the August series, 1800 call. Uh, so uh, we uh, should be buying uh, in the range of around 28 to 29. Yesterday's close was around uh, this level. And uh, the target would be 55 rupees on the upside and stop loss is 14. So the risk reward is also pretty good. Okay, so that's a view on Infosys. Uh, but Avni, going on, we have seen some very strong moves on oil and gas companies, specifically ONGC and Oil India. I believe one of them makes it on your radar as well this morning. 
Uh, yes, so ONGC, I know uh, the overall outlook on the o OMC is just pretty bad and bad and uh, uh, overall uh, it's a very sensitive uh, uh, sector as in uh, the oil prices are impacting our markets a lot. But if you purely look on the technical and derivative parameters, ONGC has uh, had given a breakout around 326, 327 and uh, it made a high uh, above 340. And it has retraced back uh, to almost, uh, uh, you know, uh, almost 50% of its uh, move uh, after the breakout from 326. And uh, the uh, open interest data also uh, suggests that there is some kind of long unwinding that has happened, but there are there is no short addition in the stock. So uh, it has come near the uh, daily uh, the breakout uh, level support level uh, from where the breakout had happened, and we saw a uh, explosive move. Uh, some time back last week so uh, it has come back to that level and i believe that from here onwards maybe slowly and gradually the stock is well poised to move towards around 355 to 360 levels and uh, that's why i would suggest going for a bull call spread in this uh, uh, stock for the august series and uh, that too uh, you know uh, we'll be going for a strategy which uh, has a fixed loss so that this intermediate volatility that we have that we are facing currently and also we have a, sh a holiday shortened week uh, it shouldn't uh, happen that we lose on the time value completely that's why we go for a bull call spread wherein uh, by end of this august series whenever the stock uh, gives the move that is the expected move we should be making profits uh, in this strategy so we'll be buying 340 call at around 6.5 and uh, sell uh, 350 call at around 4 rupees. So uh, the uh, premium outflow is around 2.5 rupees and we expect this premium to expand to 7 rupees uh, around that level if uh, on expected lines, if it expands to 7 rupees, our target would be around 13,500 and uh, on the downside, we have a fixed loss of 5,000 rupees. So it's a strategy wherein you initiate, you know your losses uh, right in the beginning and you hold on to the strategy till the August uh, uh, end. Okay, fair enough. And of course, as Avni put it, uh, you know, the one of the many advantages of a bull call spread is that it minimizes the impact of theta decay significantly, which means that you can actually hold on to this uh, strategy for um, much, much longer than, say, a vanilla call option buy. Uh, but uh, Avni, on that note, thank you so much for joining us and taking us through your views on Infosys and ONGC. We will be keeping an eye on these stocks as we move into trade over the next few sessions. With that, it's back to you. Thanks for that, Agam. Yes, we will watch out for ONGC and Infosys. Those are two recommendations coming in from Avni. The broader market, though, may have a bit of a muted session in a holiday truncated week. Uh, 